Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Mark Fixes Stuff. In this episode we're going to be reviewing the Div MMC Future, a Spectrum SD card device from the future was 8bit.co.uk, the same people that brought you the SD to IEC for the Commodore range of computers, the ones that look like the little tiny drives. Now um, this is 3D printed. Um, I'm told that the retail model will be moulded but um, this is 3D printed and is a review copy, review copy 15. So uh, yes, here we go. And it's taken me about three days to get to the point where I'm able to review this because I've had to dig out a couple of machines to test it on. And they're both in a sorry state and you'll see why in a bit. So um, here we go. Well, uh, first impressions are yes, definitely 3D printed and there's a little sticker on there. Um, edge connector looks pretty nice. Uh, around the back 3D printed, no surprises there. And a uh, joystick port, which I'm assuming is Kempston. Must be Kempston. Uh, card, which I think is supplied of all devices. I would guess yes, because I've seen um, pictures of lots of these cards on their website. And um, two buttons, are they buttons? They are indeed buttons, and they look like they're made of jelly. And the jelly, no, uh, it's hard plastic actually, all joking aside. So, um, yeah, um, initial thoughts are always oh, glued together the bugger so that I can't open it up and have a look. I did actually ask if I didn't film the internals in the review as well. So, uh, okay, um, now I've got two machines that I'm going to try it on. I've got a 48k rubber keyed Spectrum, which has been composite modded but needs a capacitor change, so the picture quality is terrible. And I've got a uh, plus three which um, has audio distortion and the capacitors need changing and I don't have an RGB cable for it. Well, a lie. I do have an RGB cable for it, but I'm buggered if I know where it is. So uh, we're going to tune that in using uh, RF. So um, the picture quality on these tests isn't going to be great, but it's nothing to do with the device, obviously. It's to do with me being a lazy bastard. So um, on with the show. Okay, so the first willing victim is this 48k rubber keyed spectrum. It's been composite modded, but it hasn't been recapped, um, so I'm expecting it to be quite noisy on the screen. And unfortunately, we have to use this LCD TV, so it's going to look even worse. Now, let's have a look here. We've got the unit, and we are going to see what the fit is like. So um, we've got a location pin there, which is always good. And put that in there. That is pretty, pretty snug. Okay, let's see. Yeah, very, very snug indeed. Put that down there. Um, that's in for the composite modification into the back of the TV. Uh, where's the power supply? Using the UK 1400 power supply, I've checked this, it's 14 volts without any load. So let's see what happens as we plug this in. This is my first go, by the way, so it should be interesting. Oh, flashing light. Very stylish. Yep, and um, yep, that seems to detect everything fine. Looking good. I'm going to press the NMI button and we'll go down to, let's see, uh, what's that directory there, let's try that and let's see what we can pick here that is a classic, viewed or what else is there, oh, what's that, low mem and high mem, oh, that's some kind of memory tests, that looks pretty good. Um, Oh, Chaos. Let's try Chaos. Chaos. The Battle of Wizards by Mr. Julian Gollop. Uh, let's go two wizards. Level of computer wizards. Um, let's say eight. Um, let's just spam anything in. Uh, yes. Because I'm certainly not going to play Chaos for you YouTube fans. Let's try G, F, D, S, P... Computer controlled, yes. Which character? Let's try six and number two. Ba ding! Right, okay, well, that works. Um, 
Cool. The uh, image is pretty pants, to be honest. So this machine does need a recap. So, um, okay, so uh, that's the NMI button, the flashy, flashy one. The other one is a reset button. So let's see the reset button. So what was that that we were in there? Was that a... Sorry about the white balance, everyone. It's very difficult here. Um, uh, one to eight says 48K machine. How about try some oh jetpack that's a good idea let's try some jetpack the z80 so that goes straight in what we need really is a joystick have i got a joystick anywhere right i've got my joystick um and let's try a game um pause comes joystick five start game okay this is pretty Awful, this joystick needs attention. But uh, yeah, this isn't about me playing jetpack. Well, I do love jetpack. Oh, wrong one. That one first. Uh, this one is next. Over the top. Get us some fuel. Where is the fuel? Okay, a bit of fuel. Jelly bean. If you don't know what that is, a bit of fuel. More fuel. Oh dear. The dangerous edge of screen fuel. Let's get away from the edge of the screen if you can. Nice little dam under. Do I go for it? Oh! Risky fuel. Yeah, the edge of the screen's always a risk. Okay. One more fuel, please. Forget the diamond. Eyes on the prize. Okay, fuel, and then it's us down here. Well, hang on, there's one more, isn't there? Certainly, this joystick is terrible. It's like, it doesn't do diagonals. There we go. Right, okay, so, yeah, jetpack works. Joystick works, is Kempston. Um, I'm using this joystick, which I'm going to show you now, with the lights on. So yeah, this is a joystick I'm using. It's uh, some old beast from Wales, it um, says on the bottom. It's uh, from 4th Dimension Computing, made in Great Britain, Wales. Um, so yeah, it's uh, not micro-switched. It's, it's quite a heavy construction. I think it needs opening and cleaning though because it doesn't do diagonals well and it's a bit, a bit ropey. Anyway, um, that just goes into the DB9 socket on the back of the Div MMC Future. Uh, it'll do for demonstration purposes. Not that I'm any good at games, is it? Yeah, so pretty happy that that works pretty well. Um, the reset button works, no problem. The NMI, the non mask will interrupt, works great. And uh, yeah, um, tap and Z80 works. So uh, yeah, we try to tap, we try to Z80. I'm sure a snap would work as well. Try and load a 128, that won't work. So let's see, Rainbow Islands. Yeah. As you'd expect, at space if it's a tap, isn't it? Yep. Stop tape, press any key. Lovely. Love game, absolutely dreadful at, so I'm not going to embarrass myself by playing this one. Okay, let's move on. So the next uh, willing victim is a Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus 3, 128K machine that was made by Amstrad. Now, the reason I've picked this and the reason I went through my two fix pile and found this and patched it up as much to just get it working is because after Amstrad bought Sinclair, they started changing things. They changed the joystick ports, you had to buy Amstrad joystick ports, and they changed the edge connector so that your existing Sinclair expansions and um, uh, peripherals did not work anymore so they could sell you Amstrad ones which is really lovely of them thanks Mr Sugar or Sir Sugar as you are now so um, the problem with that is it means that if you've got an interface then the edge connectors are not electrically compatible which means that uh, on a lot of interfaces you need to use dip switches etc so um, 
This is configuration free and it should automatically detect that this is a different spectrum. Okay, so a bit of a jump cut there. I'm going to leave the um, joystick plugged in from the last excursion and we'll just go from this direction so you can see the uh, connector there. Again, it's pretty solid. I could probably pick that up. Yep, no problem at all on the edge connector. Um, it's always a good idea to um, clean your edge connectors before you start using new interfaces on vintage machines. I don't have a SCAR RGB cable, unfortunately. So that means that I'm going to have to use the aerial output. So expect the, um, the output to be pretty poor. Let's plug this in with the DIN connector. Is it actually going to tune in? I think it might at some point. Yes, it is eventually and that's actually latched onto the signal after the div MMC has come up so let's just check I've got a green button uh, for the NMI so let's press that yeah that is awful quality pretty proud of that to be honest that it's even displaying anything okay so let's use the cursor keys uh, futures8bit.com enter and uh, 128k machine uh, let's pick something 128k. I've got the joystick plugged in. So chase 128. Yes, as you'd expect. Actually, the brightness on this channel is a bit too high as well, which doesn't help, but uh, we'll live with it. And uh, it's a tap, I think, so space. Oh, that sounds awful. Uh, obviously needs a distortion fix this plus three as well so <laughs> great okay um, enter for options uh, Kempston which is three let's go press gear to play which is the fire okay yeah but there's an emergency we know that let's go low gear high gear Yep. I wonder how long you can watch this before you uh, actually tune out. Oh, low gear. High gear. Let's go. Yeah, I'm pretty damn good. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, well, that one works. So uh, press the reset button, which is the one that isn't green. And um, back into the MI menu. Let's see what else we've got in here. Pang 128K. That's something that's 128. Um, fleet. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, you can't argue with that. Terrible image quality, obviously. But uh, do we want to load a new commander? No. Press space, commander. Okay. All oh, sounds good, Commander Jameson. Yeah, well, we know what a Lee is. Um, again, press reset. Let's see. Um, I can't remember what I've actually loaded now. It looks much worse on the camera does it than it does in real life. Let's have a go of Hunchback. I'm assuming that's Hunchback. Okay, Hunchback. I'm awful at this game as well. So let's have a quick go. Press key. Has to be a key, doesn't it? And then it's two for Kempston. So, um, yeah, on the plus three, you probably know that um, the um, SJS joysticks were introduced by Amstrad in a cynical ploy to stop you using your Atari standard joysticks, which then meant you had to buy the um, Amstrad versions. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty good because you can use um, any... I'm pretty bad at this game, it has to be said. Ooh, I've rung my bell. Why is it if you go down the woods today, I wonder? Uh, I think I made that. Shut your mouth. Okay, one more go, one more go. So, oh, you twat. I tell you, I'm not playing this crap anymore. Right, okay, that's pretty cool so everything is functioning as it should um, and it is you know it is what it is now the impressive thing is I've plugged it into two machines now and it's automatically configured with no need for jumpers um, 
on some of the competitor products you have to do the jumpers otherwise you get all sort of squirrely effects going up and down the screen um right okay uh back to the bench for summing up i think so in summation um what's the dealio with this uh it's a really nice device indeed um obviously the 3d printing here lets it down like a washboard um so yeah i'd be really interested in seeing the the final device uh what are the pros of this well the pros are auto configuration i don't have any um spectrums here at the moment that don't work with other devices such as div mmc enjoy or uh, zaxon div mmc so i can't work out if it works on sort of borderline um, uh, case spectrums however <clears throat> it has worked on every spectrum that I've tried and it has auto configured um, the grip is good on the edge connector so no wobble um, and I really like the button that lights up and tells you what's going on joystick port uh, works as you'd imagine uh, it's lovely that the card's got a little sticker on it but uh, you know it's not going to change the world so the div mmc future is it actually the future and the answer is it can be a part of the future um, if you don't have one of these devices i cannot not recommend this because it's great it's easy it's really really small um, so just show you a cassette case for comparison which we call the alex gledhill method um, so you can actually see the size you probably almost fit it inside the the case um, so yeah it's a good good device it works well um if you've already got a div mmc enjoy or a zaxon div mmc then you're probably not going to rush out to buy this because unlike me you haven't got multiple um spectrums knocking about the house but this is certainly one to watch and the case design if that's molded i think is going to be a, a a real real boon so um yes that's all i've got to say really uh, i tested a few of the other functions you know snapshot saving all works as you'd imagine with uh, div mmc uh, device the uh, only thing it's missing is long file name support which they all are so please someone sort out long file name support i'd do it but i have the skills of a drunken octopus anyway um i've probably bored you enough now so this is mark from mark fixes stuff signing out reminding you to subscribe to get your fix and uh, bash my bell down there for more excitement. Go on, bash it for when my stuff comes out. Bye!